God bless you in Jesus' name. So happy to have you join us today on this to this edition of Daily Charge with Mountain Top Daily Devotional. God bless you in Jesus' name. As usual, let's um, get our devotional materials and also our Bible together with us as we dig deep in the Word of God together today. Um, it's a new day, Wednesday, 13th day of December. 2023. Um, thank you for how God has brought us uh, from January to you uh, today, and we look forward to the year coming to an end. Let's pray. Father, we thank you for today. Thank you for your mercies. Thank you for your faithfulness. Thank you for all of us, all your children out there. Thank you for your mercy upon us. Thank you for those far you've brought us since January to today. Accept our thanks in Jesus' name. Thank you for your fruitfulness. Thank you for this program to have blessed many lives. Thank you for your word. Thank you for the Holy Spirit. Accept our thanks in Jesus' name. Today, O oh Lord, as we dig deep in your word, teach our spirit by your power. Open eyes of understanding. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen, amen, amen. So happy to have you join us today. And um, I trust the Lord will help us together uh, and uh, prosper our lives through his word. In Jesus' name, amen. Today on our daily charge with Mountaintop Daily Devotional, we're looking at you need divine assistance. It's a prophetic one. You need divine assistance. You and I need divine assistance. The year is running to an end. And indeed, at this time of the year, we need more than ever before, we need divine assistance. Memory verse is Isaiah 41, verse 13. Isaiah 41, verse 13. For I, the Lord thy God, we hold thy right hand, saying unto thee, Fear not, I will help thee. For I, the Lord, Thy God will hold thy right hand, saying unto thee, Fear not, I will help thee. And I prophesy over you today that divine assistance will be your daily experience in the name of Jesus. I say it again by the Spirit and the power of the prophet that divine assistance, as the Lord liveth and his Spirit is alive, Divine assistance will be your daily experience in the name of Jesus. Amen. Now let's look at our first scripture together. Isaiah 41. Very popular scripture. Very prophetic scripture as well. Isaiah 41. Isaiah 41. From verse 10 to 16. Verse 10 is quite very, and I want us to say it loud and clear. I can shout a loud amen wherever you are. For fear not, God said, Fear not, for I am with you. And I am sure that this morning, today, God is speaking to someone right there. Say, Fear not, for I am with you. Be not dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you. Yes, I will help you. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. He says, Behold, all those who are incensed against you shall be ashamed and disgraced. A louder amen. They shall be as nothing, and those who strive with you shall perish. Amen. You shall seek them and not find them. Those who contended with you, those who war against you shall be as nothing, as a non-existent thing. For I, the Lord, your God, will hold your right hand, saying to you, Fear not, for I will help you. Fear not, you warm Jacob, you men of Israel. I will help you, says the Lord. And your Redeemer, the Holy One of Israel, said, Behold, I will make you into a new threshing sledge with sharp teeth. 
you shall thresh the mountains and beat them small and make the hills like chaff. Hmm. Last verse. You shall winnow them, the wind shall carry them away, and the whirlwind shall scatter them. But you shall rejoice in the Lord and glory in the Holy One of Israel. But very interesting scripture there, verse 10 in particular. The Bible says, Fear not, for I am with you. Be not dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you. Yes, I will help you. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. Praise the name of the Lord. I believe God is speaking to someone today that fear not. I am with you. I will help you. I know that the year is almost coming to an end. And a lot is going in a lot of minds of people at the moment. Life itself is full of challenges, full of storms, full of troubles. And people are going through a lot and say, ah, is this how I am going to end this year? Will I end the year like this? Will this thing continue like this? I want to say to you today, that fear not. Fear not. God will help you. God will arise for your need. The God of Elijah shall indeed surprise you. Even where you do not expect help, God will raise help for you in the name of Jesus. Even when, where you do not even expect God to help you, or you do not expect anything, even from where you do not expect, God shall raise help for you. And but one thing he said, fear not. Do not be afraid. I know that the circumstances or the things that you may be going through at the moment might be overwhelming. In fact, those things might be creating fear in your heart. I mean, for example, you laugh. You, you, when you look at from January to today, and you can't even point to one thing that you've achieved or you've been full of toiling and toiling and toiling and toiling and you're wondering what can happen for the rest of the year. Remember that the God whom you serve, whom I serve, is a God that's specializing in the eleven hour miracle. One day is enough. In fact, one, one minute is enough for God to change someone's story. And I'm praying for someone this today that the God of turn around, that particular situation, that particular thing that is making you afraid, God will turn it around to a testimony for you in the name of Jesus. I say God will turn that thing around to a testimony for you in the name of Jesus. And you will indeed laugh this year. The remaining days of this year, you will, yes, you will indeed laugh. Remember the Bible says that better is the end of a thing than the beginning thereof. So sometimes the best are reserved for the last. And that's why you don't need to give up. You don't need to give up. All that you need to do is to seek for help. And that's why, like I said, divine assistance is coming your way today in the name of Jesus. There are things that I, mean, I know that you might you are looking up God for that this year should not end like this. For example, you have commitments. Maybe there are financial needs on the table for you. And you have projects which you are wanting to complete. But by now, you have not yet finished those projects. God is telling you to do that. Fear not. Fear not. Because the, you know, fear is terrible. And I want us to know that very well. And that's why God starts that particular scripture that says, fear not. Because once fear has entered, fear is toxic. Fear kills a man even before his miracle happens. Fear is a killer. Fear is a killer. And that's why God says, fear not. Because if you allow the spirit of fear to envelop you, ah, then nothing can happen because fear will lead to doubt. And doubt, of course, we can't get anything from God 
you are living without. Praise the name of the Lord. You shall be right back on this program, Daily Charge, the Mountain Top Daily Devotional. Please don't give me that. God bless you. Mountain Top Life Daily Devotional for 2023 is now available. Volume 8. Get a copy today and some for those you care about. And leave your days filled with the presence of the Lord. Mountain Top Life Daily Devotional, Volume 8. Life changing encounter with a gun that answered by fire. To get a copy, visit www.mfminkbookshop.com to have it delivered to your address or any MFM bookshop near you. Mountain of Fire and Miracles Ministries, surely the Lord is here. Through your handheld gadgets, you can now have access to your daily devotional. The Mountain Top Live for the year 2023, Volume 8. Available through download on the Google Play Store and the iOS App Store. Download yours today. Mountain of Fire and Miracles Ministries, surely the Lord is here. Welcome back to your program Daily Charge, the Mountain Top Daily Devotional. God bless you in Jesus' name. And if you're just joining us, this program is Daily Charge with Mountain Top Daily Devotional. And today, 13th day of December, we're looking at We've been discussing you need divine assistance. I need divine assistance. You need divine assistance. The only truth is that we will we get a point in our lives that we realize that I need help from God. And one prayer the Holy Spirit has said that we should never lack the help of God. You know, the way God has designed this world, nobody can live in isolation. It's not possible. You is not possible. You cannot live in isolation. You need help, whether it's uh, help at home or uh, you know help one way or the other. You need help, and that's the way this world has been designed. That you need help, and that one must not lack help at all. And that means that we must come to that point that indeed I really need help from God. Praise the name of the Lord. So so before we went on the short break, we're looking. We were um, looking at the um, divine assistance. We read from Isaiah chapter 41. And I was talking about fear. You know that that scripture starts with fear not. There's a reason why, you know, that scripture starts with that word fear not. Because fear is a killer. Fear is a robber. But when, when things are when you are even close to your breakthrough, that's when fear comes in to rob you off of that breakthrough. So you have to be very careful and not to entertain fear at all. At all. You have to activate your faith. You have to believe God that it is not over until it is over. So you have to believe God for that. That God, that in the remaining days, or the remaining 18 days, for this year to come to an end, that the God of Elijah will still move on behalf. If you look at the scriptures, you know, there have been case, many cases of divine assistance. Divine assistance, people that um, that God helped from God. They cried and God helped them. Even the blind Bartimaeus that cried, that ah, I may hear that I may receive my sight, that ah, Jesus. So they have mercy on me. That was a cry for assistance. Praise the name of the Lord. That was a cry for assistance. And that's why we must not lack divine assistance. Because that would usher in miracles in our lives. And we need that assistance, you know, for our journey in life. Many people are struggling today. And the fact that you are struggling means that you need, you lack something. That's the meaning. That you are struggling on to, to get task, you know, accomplished. You are struggling to get achievement. 
you are struggling to get you know your feet on the ground means that you lack something and you need something friends you need divine assistance you need the help of god we can't you can't do it by yourself how god will help you you, you leave it to him leave it to him let him sort you out how we help you how you perhaps raise help us from you for you from the west from the north that is for god to deal with but you need divine assistance to accomplish those things that you have set for yourself at the outset of the year and given where you are today you need divine assistance you can't do it by yourself praise and will now how do we provoke divine assistance let's look at that um subtopic under our discussion today provoking divine assistance how can you what can you do to provoke divine assistance the first thing is you must be a friend of god that is not negotiable for you to provoke assistance of god you have to be his friend so if you're out there today and you are and you are far from god please come back to him i beg you please come back to him because you can't do it by yourself in the journey of life, you need help from above. So therefore, you need to come back to him. That's my plea with you today. To please come back to him. You need divine assistance. So the first step is, you have to be a friend of God. You have to make God your friend. Surrender to him. Surrender to him. Let him take over your life. Make him your friend. And he will surely help you. So that's the first step in the journey. The second step is you must be a lover of God. You must love God passionately. Love the things of God. Love the work of God. Support the work of God in whatever capacity you can. And when I say support, you are not saying money. So that was a bit of thinking. You have your time. You have your gift. You have your talent. You have knowledge. Those are things that you can use to support the work of God. Not necessarily money. For money is there as well. So please, second is to love, be a, love God passionately. Say, tell him that Father, I love you. God, I love you. Love him passionately. Love his work. Support his work. Like I said, in any capacity you can, right? as you are taking those steps, you are provoking divine assistance the next thing is to cry out for help realize that you cannot do it by yourself you need to come to that point that father this i cannot do by myself please help me i need to do that that lord father cry to him is your beniza hmm? is your beniza that song says ebeniza eh. My stone of help, only you are my helper. Ebenezer, hey, Ebenezer, hey, Ebenezer, hey, my stone of help, only you are my helper. Cry to him that only you are my helper, and he will surely arise for your help. That has to provoke the one that assists um, help. Next thing is also. Is to go out of your way to help someone. Go out of your way. Go out of your way to help someone. That step you are taking, you are sowing a seed. You are sowing a seed. As you go out of your way to help someone, you are also sowing a seed. And of course, your seed will harvest help back to you. Praise the name of the Lord. To so that another way to provoke divine assist, uh, divine assistance. Please. Go, go out of your way to help you to help someone. I'm sure that people that are around you that have needs at this time, help them. This is a good time to this this, this this December time. It's a good time to help people. So you to help someone. As you help someone too, no matter how small, if you have one, you know, um, one um, uh, what do you call it? One one plastic of Gary or rice. You can share that and give someone else. 
That's part of help. In your own little way. So, you help someone. If you do that, you are provoking divine assistance. The next thing is target praises on the Lord. Or targeted praises on the Lord. Like Paul did. Paul and Salah did. Their praises provoke earthquake of deliverance that day. So that's what praises can do. So when you also offered, when you so when you offer targeted praise unto the Lord, you are provoking divine assistance. Next is intercessory prayer. Intercessory prayer. God loves intercessors. I know it's not easy to do intercessory prayers, but because a natural man is selfish, but God loves intercessors. When you engage in intercessory prayers, you also provoke divine. And lastly, angelic assistance. Seek for angelic assistance. Cry for angelic assistance. That is also another way to provoke divine assistance. Praise the name of the Lord. We go in a short break now, and we shall be right back. We don't change it up. Stay tuned. God bless you. to daily charge with mountain top daily devotional god bless you jesus name um today we so far today been discussing that you need i need divine assistance and uh, thank god so far we went from isaiah 41 and um, we discussed around the father you and i need divine assistance at this time even as the year rounds up um, um, already. Before we went to the shop, I was discussing around how can we provoke divine. And what I'm going through again before we start to pray, how can we provoke divine assistance? As I said, number one is you have to be a friend of God. That is a, a very critical step in provoking assistance. You have to be a friend of God. You are his friend. We surely help you. Number two is that we have to be a lover of God. You must love Him, love His work passionately, support His work in any capacity you can. Like I mentioned, through your knowledge, through your skill, your talent, your gift, your time, your service, anything you have, give back to Him to support His work. When you do that, you are provoking divine assistance. Next is to cry for help. We have come to a point that we realize that this one I can't do by myself. I need God to help me. And you must get to that point that you realize that yes, I did need divine assistance. And you cried for that help. And it will surely come to your to your to your aid. Next thing we talk about that you should go out of your way to help someone. Scripture says in the book of uh, Genesis chapter 8. That as far as the earth remains, seed time, harvest time will not cease. As far as the earth remains, seed time, harvest time will not cease. So you're, you're going out of your way. This is a very good time to do that, December. To help someone, to put smile in someone's face, to put laughter in, some, in, some, in a particular house at this time. That step you've taken you is a seed you have sowed. And you surely have best that seed you have sowed. As far as that is concerned. So when you go out of your way to help someone, you're also provoking divine assistance. We talk about target praises, target praises, intercessory prayers, and also seeking for angelic assistance. If you do all this, you know, surely you will get divine assistance. Praise the name of the Lord. Now, like I said, the first step is to be a friend of God. So you are out there today listening to this podcast and you know you are not a friend of God. You are far, you are far from Him. Please, I'm happy to 
need it back to him for his prayers and say after me say oh father lord lord jesus i thank you for coming to die for my sin thank you for your mercies upon my life lord jesus i come to you today come into my life take control of my life take absolute take over my life as from today help me to live above sin write my name in the book of life forgive me of my sins let the power of sin die over me thank you heavenly father in jesus name we pray i want to congratulate you that prayer that prayer today today and i pray with you that the hand of god will mighty upon you his hand will establish you in the faith and keep you strong in jesus mighty name please look for it um, fellowship around you that you can join and they are going to help you to grow i'm going to join this daily broadcast too also help you to grow in the faith god bless you now let's time for us to pray just one prayer we want to shout to god for help but we said i will god has said fear not i will help you so i want to cry to god oh god my helper say so, oh god my helper arise for my help this this season in the name of jesus arise for my help i need assistance arise for my help this season in the name of jesus oh lord my helper i need assistance arise my help this season in the name of jesus oh lord my helper i need assistance arise for my help arise for my help arise for my help arise for my help in the name of jesus thank you heavenly father in jesus name we pray amen praise the name of the lord god bless you so much for being part of today's broadcast uh, daily charge with Mark Tobin devotional i look forward to hosting you again tomorrow god bless you uh till then uh, we love you god bless you in the mighty name of the lord jesus christ we thank God for the miracle of sleeping and waking up. I decree that today it shall be well with you in the name of Jesus. The Lord God that dwelleth in Zion will move you forward in a new way in the mighty name of Jesus. No evil shall befall you this day, neither shall any plague move near your camp. Wherever you go, the favor of the Almighty shall be upon you. Your life shall be plugged into the socket of divine favor, divine restoration, in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. All the evil present in this day, I bind them and I cast them out. You shall not be part of the evil that is spreading around in the name of Jesus. The Lord will make you head and never detail in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I soak the whole of this day in the blood of Jesus. I soak the whole of this day in the blood of Jesus. You are going in your coming out shall be blessings. The hand of God shall be mighty upon you. I cover you and your family with the blood of Jesus. Thank you, Heavenly Father. Have a wonderful day, beloved. In Jesus' mighty name, I pray. Amen.